Why don't you just start every game, man? <laughs> it's fun. It makes you feel good. Oh yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, I don't know. It was. It was one of those nights where you just kind of had to fight through maybe one or two innings. But it, it was a good feeling. It's kind of like, kind of like a basketball player. You hit your spot one time, two, three, two, three times. You feel like you just can't, can't miss your spot. Or well, it. I don't think it was quite the. Uh, I can't miss my spot. Obviously, they, they got some hits. There were some there were some key moments that we might have needed a strikeout and they got a ground ball, but for the most part it was right where I wanted it. How important was it for you to set a tone not only tonight but for the whole series? Well, I think it's very important. Last time they were here at home, we I think we dropped the first game and then because of weather, you know, it it just didn't end up in our favor. I think we lost one game and that's all we played. So um, I don't know. I just had that memory back in my mind and really wanted to get this win tonight. So, yeah. How do you think Travis did? Was it nice having him back up? Oh, yeah, he, he's great. All, at, at this point in the season, with uh, how many catchers have swapped through, they all know every pitcher. But um, it's fun. He, he seems to catch me well, and I really like him back there. Tyler, the last four innings didn't, didn't allow a hit. What was working for you well uh, the, the last two innings? Uh, trying to push tempo, um, just staying in a rhythm. I don't know. We, we, uh, me and Robin have been really working on developing a sinker in the last couple of weeks, and so he was telling me just keep sinking the ball, and they'll keep swinging over it. And so um, they like to swing a lot on the first pitch, and if I could locate the sinker and the cutter um, early in the count, we we're going to get easy outs. When did you, when did you know that you kind of would be able to go nine innings? Your pitch count was really low, kind of over the course of the night. Um, Right after the third inning, I don't know, I knew I knew I was being efficient because I looked up and it was still like really bright outside and we're in the fourth or fifth inning. So uh, I knew um, knew I had to be doing okay. And then Rob came up to me after the fifth and he said, uh, let's get back into rhythm and um, uh, let's, let's, com let's complete game this. And so I had a feeling and then he um, solidified that feeling. I guess how... How important is that tempo to your game specifically? You, you were working so fast. I mean, uh, Travis was saying how he's just trying to get the ball back to you as quickly as he can. Oh, yeah. That, when, uh, when I'm in a rhythm or any pitcher is really in a rhythm, pushing tempo is key because then you don't have time to think in between pitches. You just grip the ball and go. And from the hitting perspective, our guys have told us in inner squads that when we're pushing tempo and we're really in a rhythm, they don't have time to get set, think about uh, pitch selection. It's like they just got to get in the box and swing. So it's beneficial for both the pitcher and it's detrimental to the hitter. But some guys, I mean, they want to work slow, you know? I, mean, I pitches... haven't ever understood that. I mean, right. some some guys, they need that time to think. Um, but as I think all four years that I've been here, Josh and Rob have told our pitching staff we want to work fast. And for the, for the reasons I told you. So that's, that's kind of what we've all been bred to do. How does a night like this help Jonathan Blake going forward? Oh, I think it, any time, like in the past, when I saw Freeman or Hatch or Perrin go complete game, it was like, okay, if you hit your spots, you can you can dominate these guys. And even if it was a really, really good team like TCU or, or South Carolina last year for Hatch or anybody, you just it's a little bit of a confidence booster for the guys behind, knowing that if they hit their spots, it's going to get the job done.